Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to share with you my latest obsession, which is Tom Bin. And I just wanted to share this. I also got this on the trip because I was able to go to Seattle, Washington back in August of 2022. I got this at the airport. Uh, my friend has one that says Seattle. So I'm like, I'll just grab one at the airport. But they all said Washington. Um, so yeah, I got it at the Starbucks. Very cute size. Neat design. Um, it's got the key ring thingy. And so yeah, so there's that. Now let me get into Tom Bin. Okay, so I have um, my... This... I bought these at the store, which I was really glad I was able to go there in person. And then they emailed me a receipt. So I'm reading this off the receipt that I received. Um, this one says that it's a clear organizer wallet, Navy 420D Parapack, all fabric front Texan dividers. So obviously it's not clear. It's got this little thing to attach got a plastic zipper we've got one two three sections and I haven't used this a ton when I first got it I was keeping my headphones in it in my little travel backpack when we would do our sightseeing but I haven't used it a lot since so there's that then I have um, ghost whale organizer pouches and these are this color these are mini size is what my receipt says and this color both the same color it says Mayora 1000 Cordura and I that's such a pretty color it feels so different compared to this more like really nylon -y one this is some kind of green um, I ended up getting this separate because he put this back even though I wanted it so then he ranged this up separate and then it doesn't say what color this is. So these are mini whale pouches. Then I have the clear organizer pouch. And this is a piece of paper that it's folded in half just to be able to show you guys for size reference um, what's going on there. And I have a planner that I keep in here. Um, this is an eight and a half by five size. And I really like this one. I got it off of Etsy. I just write in the numbers myself. Um, I like that the weekends are like this and my weeks have a little bit more room. Um, I've been using this for several years. I really like it. And then this little keyboard. I don't know I, if it's wireless or Bluetooth, however I connect it. I use it every once in a while when I have a lot to type up on either my phone or my tablet. So... There's that. And again, plastic zipper and plastic little attachment thingy. There's that. I have some pens in there too, pen, pencils. And then last but not least, here is my passport pouch. And I believe I'm pronouncing you right, the Fjord 200 Halcyon. And this is why I made my pur my purchase recently. Um, I broke my ankle back at the beginning of January, January 6th to be exact. And I wear clothes that don't have pockets. And I have I wear sweatshirts, but it doesn't keep my phone very secure. And I wasn't moving around a lot. So this was nice to have this around my neck. And I would have my phone in here this is not the phone i use but i pulled this out to show you guys um obviously my phone is even bigger than this so i can't close this pouch but with a lot of sitting around especially at the beginning it was just really handy i had it around my neck and i was just scared if i fell and hurt myself again i wanted my phone handy so um the only bummer is sometimes with some bending down my phone would fall out so, another reason I made a purchase. Um, this is all uh, Velcro right there. It's got that like blue lining. And it did come with this cord here. The only thing is I really, I've used this a lot the past couple months. And this is supposed to be like a really pretty gray color, these tabs, to open this up. 
But man, these are dirty. I wish that they would have made these like a black, like this trim here, or more of the fjord for the tabs, because you can see how dirty they are. I've I've definitely used this, you can tell. Um, I did use it for the trip. I actually did use it for our passports. So um, each color stands for a different member of the family. And so here's our passport. And they fit in there great. I don't think I need the RFID. And they're just in there nice and secure. Um, but I did also use uh, my RFID pouches for the trip home. Just on the plane, just at a just have it just for safety. And if we do get to travel overseas one day, these fit in here great. And um, easy on off, really nice adjustment straps. And so that was what I got from the store physically. Then I was able to, I'm on the Facebook Tom Bin group and I got this one. And this is a cubelet and I believe the color is Acuity. It's such a pretty, it's such a pretty color. Um, my walls are a light blue color. So it's like, it matches really well. Um, so there's that. I haven't used it a ton. I do want to use it. The size is pretty neat. I'm just afraid of how dirty I'm going to get it. Because this thing, I don't know if you can see that stain for sure. Um, I don't want to ruin it. But we'll see. We'll see if I keep it, if I use it, how that goes. And then I made a purchase. So let me move these out of the way and bring in my Tom Bin box that I got a few days ago. Hold on. You know what? I wanted to show you also, um, I showed you what's in these other couple of other things, but I did not show you my well pouches. So I have this in here mostly for size reference right now. I have an external battery charger in the charge cord. And I like it because I like the opening and closing of these. They're pretty neat. Um, and I have extra headphones, um, pain, headache medicine, and some lips products are all in there. And I do, I really like... Um, that they have those thingies that I can clip these onto different sections in my different bags. I do actually use them quite a bit. And I also wanted to show you guys, I've seen some other people have Tombin and Jujube. So I have some Jujube too. And I wanted to show you guys for size reference. This is the small set piece. And um, it actually fits inside of this. So if I go like so, this whole thing fits inside of the small. So there's that. Inside of a small jujube set piece. And then also, this is the large size for the set piece. And there's this longer strap, so you can use this as like a little purse. But the large set piece, I feel, is pretty comparable to this size right here. And this size, it says, what does it say for size? It says it's the medium size. And that's all. I There's a bigger size that looks like it's letter size or A4 size. Um, but that hasn't been in stock when I check. So this is the biggest size they have available. And... I feel like the Tom Bin would not fit inside of this large size set piece. It would fit inside of this. This is a Be Quick. Um, and I believe now the newer ones detach this piece all the way. Um, this is a really old piece. So this would fit inside of here. So just wanted to show you that. Okay, so all that's out of the way. Here's my Tom Bin. I'm so excited. I obviously, I don't know how to edit still. <laughs> so I have looked at these now. Wanted to show you guys. Um, so here's the box. Okay, so I ordered two of these. 
this is the wasabi color and i just saw they posted on instagram yesterday or the day before that they're bringing the halcyon products out in this wasabi color sometime they didn't say when and here's this so let me grab my receipt so i can tell you guys the sizes of things okay so here are these key straps key straps so this is the eight inch one and this is the 16 inch one and so there's those i ordered those separate thought i'd use them check them out um i probably might get more of this size we'll see i feel like there was this size and the next size up was this size okay so then i got two other pieces so this is paradise color what's it called it says um island webbing island webbing sorry about that and then these are island 200 halcyon this is a small travel tray and then this is a um vertical packing cubelet and so as you can see i haven't even I haven't taken the tags off yet i'm not sure which ones i'll use or um, maybe I try to trade with wasabi or something later on, but the reason I got this one is because then this one I can put my phone into and zip it closed so my phone doesn't keep falling out. And it's a neat little size for just a quick little errand where I can put my, this is not the one I use, but I use one like it for my wallet, um, toss that along with my coin purse in there and that that would be my little purse um the only thing is i did not order um what's it called i did not order the any other straps to like hang on my neck or wear a cross potty so they've got the two ring rings here on the outside and then if i remember yeah look at the inside Let me turn it all the way inside outside so that's the front side. You see the logo there. And then the stitching for the logo. And then it's got one ring thingy on the inside to be able to attach your keys or whatever on the inside there. So very neat. I like that size. And I might actually really use it for a packing cube when we go on our next trip. So there's that. Again, it's the vertical packing cubelet in Island 200 Halcyon. And then this is the small travel tray in the Island 200 Halcyon. And the travel trays are pretty neat. Let me go find my treasures that I was putting in here when I tried to film last night. Okay, so these are two body butter tubs. These are eight ounce size. So one, let me do it this way. One, two, if I also do a working hand, so this is in a 2.7 ounce and then a little lip. You can go like so, put that lip here on top and close all that up. And I can close this like so and it's secure like that. And then if I were to choose to take it like this for like my nighttime routine stuff um i can just set all this aside and have this handy for later and i have squished this pretty good um putting it in and out of the box so far um it's neat because these are like i would guess they're probably plastic little something in there to kind of give it that little bit of sturdiness so that is the small size of the travel tray and then this is the large size and this one is a large travel tray in the fjord 200 halcyon so this is a large if i were to go like this like that I don't know, probably just leave that. And then if I go like, maybe I have, you know, this the one I have my pain meds in. I 
external battery charger. You can see there's some room on the outside of this one. Okay, this does the exact same thing. You can close it up, secure it, and close that. And then that's secure like that. So that's the large size with the small size in there. So that's. Those are pretty neat. I, I got both sizes because I didn't know if I'd want the small or the large. And um, the, uh, what color is this? The island color was not available in the large size. So I figured I'll just get both if you're missing out. So large travel tray. So that, that's pretty neat. I like the concept of that. Okay. Then I have the packing cube shoulder bag, or if you're on this different sites, sometimes people, Tom Binions, whatever they call themselves, will list this as a PCSB. So I, have, I had to Google that because uh, I don't know what these are. I'm, I'm fairly new to Tom Bin. I've been following up for a while, but I finally bought something back in August. So again, packing cube shoulder bag in the Fjord 200 Halcyon. So it's the same color as this large size of the travel tray. This is way bigger than what I was, I don't know, expecting or thinking. Um, so let me show you what's going on with this one. It's got this slash zipper in the front here. And it's got this. So what, this is the eight inch key strap. Yep, it comes with the 8 inch key strap, and there's that ring thingy on the inside there. And then on the inside of the main compartment, it's pretty good size, it's got two of the ring thingies, I forget what they're called, to attach things. So if I wanted to use my fancy little thing here and attach this little wallet, oops, keep it a little more secure in there, and then this Tom bin, keep this secure like so, and then, you know, whatever treasures, I'd probably have my phone on the outside, if I were to use this as a shoulder bag, and again, this one has these so I could attach a shoulder bag um, strap, and let me let me grab one real sack real fast. Hold on. Okay, so here's a shoulder bag strap thingy. I chose a black hardware to go on this plastic like so, and then plastic like so, and then you can wear this. I mean, it's a great little neat size. I would wear it crossbody. I like that. And then, let me show you, because it is called a packing cube, let me show you in comparison to the regular packing cubes I use. I use Pro Packing Cubes, and this is the only size I use. Um, I might use one of the smaller ones for my underwear. But um, I feel like these are pretty comparable in width wise. So this is actually really close to what I <laughs> do already use for packing. I'll be curious if I pack the same amount of clothes, how each of them would look. So that's the packing cube shoulder bag. So there's that. Okay. And then last but not least, I'm very excited this right here. This is the sidekick in the original 400 Halcyon and Island 200 Halcyon is what's on the inside. So let me show you. Ta-da! So it's the same blue as the smaller travel tray. Hopefully you can see that. And then this came with 
these zip, um, keep putting them on your zippers. Um, I, I like these little ones. It's cute. And then another eight inch key strap that comes with it. So it's got the one here and then it comes with this strap. So I probably, honestly, I'll probably use this strap. Ooh, that's on there. Good. That's interesting. Um, this strap on my other little vertical packing cubelet, wherever I put that one. And this, I got it, I got the sidekick to keep my electronics organized. So let me turn this inside out to show you guys. Okay, so this is the sidekick turned inside out. And so you've got two of these to attach things. And then let's, I think this, yep, this fits the ghost whale mini perfectly inside that pocket. And then if you want to attach those like so to secure, there's that. And then on the other side, you've got these, but I think those are too small to put the ghost whales into, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's, yeah, that's pretty tight. I wouldn't do that. So then you put a, whatever other random things, or for me, I'd go my little card holder fits in there perfectly and then i like to have my little um coin purse this is also jujube very cute and it goes in here will it fit they're not all quite the same size but i like this print so it doesn't fit in there as easy but that's handy it's got this here it's got two more of these on this side and then two pen loops so let me grab, I have some pens. Where do I have pens? I have, here's a regular pen I got from the bank. So a regular pen fits all the way down to the bottom. And these are pretty good size. So if you have a nicer fat pen, should fit in there. So I hope that this helps people uh, with size, sizing of things. I didn't find a lot for me to be able to compare different things. So that's why I made this video. Again, hopefully it was helpful. Thank you for tuning in. I I know I haven't recorded in a really long time. Um, it's been kind of a crazy year. Been without a job. Starting to decide that it's time for me to look for a real job. But, uh. COVID was tough, you guys. I work with students, and students are different. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. On this sidekick, the zipper is metal. So that's the only thing that the zipper is metal on. And I just, I really like this. So let me show you. Oh, here's my little Samsung. I think it's an 8 tab. So that's, that's like that. And then... I was going to see, yep, it fits there perfect. And then, hold on one sec. Okay, so this is my Kindle that <laughs> I need to charge. Um, that fits in there. And then here's my planner. This is a daily planner, so one page for each day, literally. So even the weekends have their own. And I had to get it with all the different languages because I guess the English version out of Canada, they canceled it a couple years ago. So I had to get this from like, I don't know, London or somewhere. So there's that. But yes, I did get this mostly for my electronics. And then I know that the different charge cords and the chargers and stuff will fit in there. Um, I really like it. I almost wish... I could just have a grab handle on this teensy tiny thing. It's so heavy right now. And then, um, I don't know. I do have this. I go back and forth about using it. I have these labeled because I packed it up for my husband to take. And then he ended up not taking it. But it's got three slip pockets here. 
slip pocket here, a slip pocket back here, and then this is a zippered compartment. Here is a zippered compartment. And then right here is where I had that pen. Oh, here it is. Um, and that was handy for when we went to Hawaii. I had my pen handy. So, I apologize. That was a super long video, over 25 minutes. Thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. Thank you for your patience on me sharing and probably all the ums. Don't be a hater. Just, just love me. Just love everybody. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.